The centerpiece of the Dallas rail system is celebrating its past while facing questions about its future. For 100 years, Union Station has been the city's hub for commercial and public rail, but plans for a new high-speed rail likely won't be going through the iconic station. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us now from our Dallas newsroom to explain. Lori. Heather, the company building and planning to operate the bullet train says the 100-year-old transportation hub is simply not big enough to accommodate this new frontier. When Union Station opened in 1916, high-speed rail back then was probably uh, 50 miles an hour. The train being planned to run from Dallas to Houston will go 150 miles an hour, making the commute between the center of the two cities a mere 90 minutes. Rail has always proven to be one of the smartest investments we could make as a country, uh, but for some of us, we've just been a little bit uh, perplexed and embarrassed that every other developed country in the world has deployed high-speed rail, and we haven't but we're going to do it here in Texas. But as this iconic Union Station's 100th year was celebrated today, we've learned its future will not include the bullet train. If you come in on a high-speed rail train and you've got to transfer to inner city or you need to get on DART to go somewhere else in, in Dallas, this is the perfect interchange point for that. The developer says Union Station is simply too crowded. We'd love to see more volume of rail through this area, but the, the, interests, the mix of interests of rights with the freight railroads and DART and other interests make it very difficult to come all the way in. The most likely place for the bullet train station is on land behind the convention center downtown. Thank you all for joining us today. Ambassador and former Dallas Mayor Ron Kirk is now the senior advisor with the bullet train developer, Texas Central Partners. He says somehow the company will have to quickly get passengers from the bullet train station to Union Station. However we resolve it, if somebody were to take a bullet train from Houston to Dallas and wanted to jump on a train here, we're going to have a way to get them Absolutely. from our terminus to here. This is going to be the hub. This will be the area between light rail, trolleys, the TRE, high-speed rail. we going to be right in this area. The developer is not asking taxpayers for any public money. This is a private venture. Uh, this is like attracting a $6 billion enterprise in the state of Texas. I mean, this is the greatest gift to the state of Texas. After the state gives the okay, the city will work out how to partner with the company on city land. The high-speed rail will likely have to attempt to take other private land by force through eminent domain. Heather? All right, Lori, thank you.